One of the main questions in the glass community is to understand how viscosity, or equivalently, the relaxation time depend on temperature and density. During the last 10 years, people have shown in simulations and experiments that for certain liquids, the relaxation time depend on one variable, namely density raised to some material-specific constant gamma, divided by temperature. In this article, we show by simulations and experiments that for large density variation, this variable cannot be used to describe the entire phase diagram. Simulating three isocores with densities 1.2, 1.6 and 2.0 and plotting the relaxation time against the density scaling variable with two different choices of gamma, it is clear that one single gamma cannot collapse all the isocores. In order to explain this, we use a new concept from 2009 in statistical mechanics called isomorphs. Two state points are defined to be isomorphic if pairs of scaled microconfigurations have proportional configurational Boltzmann factors. From this alone, it can be shown that the relaxation time obeys a more general form of scaling, namely that the scaling variable is a function of density divided by temperature. A prediction of the isomorph theory is that isomorphic state points have identical structure and dynamics. We will illustrate this by showing simulations of three state points where two of them are isomorphic and the third is not. The first state point is at a low temperature and low density, and we visualize the position of the atoms as red balls and probe the structure instantaneously by calculating the radial distribution function seen in the lower panel. Raising temperature and keeping density constant, we see that structure changes significantly, approaching a gas. Now changing density and temperature, so the first state point is isomorphic with this one, we see the exact state, same structure. This despite the fact that density has been increased by more than 60%. Now without introducing more parameters, we plot the same data as shown in figure 1 and see a good collapse of all the isocores. So, in conclusion, we have shown that power law density scaling breaks down for large density variations. We propose a new scaling variable derived from the isomorph theory and verified via simulations of one atomistic binary model, which is the data we have just seen. We also show data from simulations of two model molecular liquids and present data from two real van der Waals liquids, all confirming the proposed scaling theory. With this scaling variable, we have reduced the phase diagram from two to one dimensions. Thank you for watching.